Hi guys, I am at Gallery Lafayette and this is my very first time being here. I've never ever been here before. I'm in Paris now, this is my third trip and I i don't know why I never came here, but it's incredible. The first time you see this beautiful gallery with the balconies, oh my God, it's, it's really special. So. This is my first time seeing it and I just opened up the camera. So I can't wait to share this incredible luxury shopping vlog with you guys. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. It helps me out so, so much. I have so much incredible Paris content coming. And so if you want more short form content as well, you can follow me on TikTok or Instagram. It's just DV Double Vanilla. And now I'm gonna share with you some amazing luxury shopping stores. We've got Fendi, there's everything in this vlog. It'll be in the title. And come follow me. They have Van Cleef up here. So excited to show you the Van Cleef. So these are the sweet ones. The diamonds. This is my favorite one. I'm going to try them on. I feel like it's such a perfect stacking size, you know, so I love wearing a lot of necklaces. Yes, and you love especially the chokers like Yes, this. and I think it would look even beautiful with another, mm -hmm. the vintage Alhambra mm -hmm. underneath. Mm -hmm. Is that 40 as well? 42. For, so it's a little bit longer. Exactly. Okay. Oh, and the red, the oh yeah, so that one's. Oh, really? This one's the most yes, popular. It's just the workshop, they're not able to do so many uh, pieces at the same time. Amazing. The sweet one is just. It's incredible. I love the length of it. And you can make it shorter, more like a choker. This look. Which one? The red Those one? Two Both? Actually, oh, they're wow. inspired by a flower. So it's changing love. That's so nice. Now I don't know which one. I love I love the metals, the different ones. Oh, and this one has like an iridescence to it. I could look at these all day. They're gorgeous. So this is a vintage size. Beautiful. And also the uh, bracelet or earring or ring. It's called Red Canada. Red Canadian. Canadian, yes. It's like the leaves, basically. It's like yeah. the Canadian maple leaf. Yeah. It's the oh, same color. Yes, That's right. why I think it's called that, yeah. Oh, Beautiful. that makes sense. Canadian. Yeah, because it yes. has that, it's like a very distinct red mm -hmm. that our leaves turn, mm -hmm. and it looks just like that. It really, it, yeah. Exactly. Actually, it's not a really a red. It's like orange and Brown red. Brown yeah. and orange. Yeah, exactly. 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 Love that one. What's the name of that ring? It's a perle. The perle one. Beverly. Beautiful. And this is just the mother of pearl. Mm -hmm. Roaches, right? Yes. Over here we have Valentino. Again, lots of crystal gel, lots of crystals. Look at all of this beautiful Valentino jewelry. The ones here with the crystals. This muted purple color over here, this nude tone, and then over here they have so much of this bright fuchsia. I've been seeing this color on almost every brand as we're doing these bright pinks. I'm not a fan of these, but I know some people love them. These are the Valentino shoes with the big platforms, and I feel like that's probably it for Valentino. There's some Versace over here. This is such a statement bag over here. And then these are the Bratz Dolls Versace shoes. It's funny how the Versace is right across from the um, Valentino. The two competing platform shoes. 
This is really pretty with the little Medusa gem and the crystals. Let me just show you guys. The crystals are on the other side. And let's see what else. There's this one with this amazing top handle in metal. These over here. And then these beautiful belts. This one's really pretty. I love the one with the crystals and the Medusa head. And then this one in gold. Before I leave Versace, they have some of their jewelry there. So I just found Paco Rabanne and I love their bags. They're so unique. This one has the crystals on it. They also come in all gold, which are so neat. This is gold and silver. They also have these little ones over here. And these are so cute. <laughs> they have a little scarf. And then look at the tops. Wow, this is such a cool brand. I love these. We've got some Maison Margiela over here, the tabby boot. What are your thoughts on the tabby boot? They've got some great shoes though. Really interesting with the cork there. They're definitely a statement. They're definitely very fashion-y, fashion girl. Um, the ballet flats, they're just not for me, but I think they look so cool when I see people wearing them. And Margiela has so many unique, interesting pieces. So, I love designers who do things that are a little bit out of the box. This bag from them is incredible. Yeah, this is one of their most unique bags. It's really, really cool. It's kind of in between that classic, but it's just so different with the lettering, sorry, the numbering. And then it's got that acrylic um, belt part on the strap. I love the way it opens. This is one of their little pouch bags. It's gorgeous. And then there's more Fendi over here. I already filmed some Fendi. I don't know if I've put it in yet, but there will be more Fendi coming after. It's beautiful navy, python, the tote. And they've got this beautiful Fendi jewelry over here. Beautiful. Everyone is so nice. I love this little baguette over here. These beautiful cognac ones. Hello, um, what is that? The fur one. Some peekaboos up here. And then I want to show you a little bit of Givenchy. They've got the shark boots over here. Look at these. It's so neat how they've got the gold on this side. And then on the other side, they've got the little lock. The classic Antigona. This is their newer version with the lock. And then these are the short version of the shark boots and they're in suede. Now the real star of the show is this beautiful Yorkie. You are the best part of this vlog. There's also some great jewelry over here from Saint Laurent. These are such a nice little statement. Those are very cool. Up here, it's mostly ready to wear. Here are the Sink A Set bags. And here are the Manhattan bags. Again, I did film some Saint Laurent when I first entered. So I'll probably put that towards the end of the video because um, I was in, there's a long queue on the downstairs floor. I would honestly suggest if it's your first time coming to Gallery Lafayette, head up to the second floor because there's no queues on the second floor but on the first floor it is chaos and really really busy so just head up to the second floor because they have um, most of the stores they have their second level and then let me show you this beautiful suede one they've got the heat tassel bag over here this gorgeous one over here they have the eye care tote. I think I mentioned this in my other uh, part of the video, but I did go to the flagship and um, at the flagship I tried on a bunch of Sailor Raw bags, including the eye care tote and the new Manhattan bag. So here we're at Fendi again and I'll quickly show you these baguettes. They are stunning. 
All right, guys, I'm at Saint Laurent inside the gallery at Lafayette. Now, I'm not gonna go in, but I'm just gonna show you quickly some of their bags. I do have a flagship Saint Laurent in Paris vlog. Either it's been posted or it's coming up, but look at this pretty teal color in the Lulu bag. That purple over there is also beautiful in the sunset. And then they have the eye care. I did try that on at the flagship. They've got these great shoreling bags over here. Those are really pretty and I did not see those at the flagship. So love those. These over here, these little um, sac de jour are very cute. And then over there is my new favorite bag. It's the Manhattan. Love those in the black beautiful and then they have the little baby sac de jours over there so let's head to the next store again we are at the upstairs version so i don't even know if i'm going to use the, the first footage i put in if i do just know that i filmed it at the beginning but this second floor celine area is so much nicer than the first floor and check out all of the bags on the wall there they also have a great little celine boutique I love the Triumph bag. And then they also have a little tail clutch. And then this one, not really my style with it spelled out Celine. What do you guys think of that? And then they've got these gorgeous Celine belts over here. I love the classic black one. This one's a little bit thinner. And then they've got the tail wallet. Over here is the Jacques Mousse showroom and look how that is so neat. Look at these incredible pieces over here. And then when I first came in downstairs, I filmed some of their bags. So I will cut to that and show you that after. But just so you can see it, I love their colors. They're all in these neutral canvases. And this piece over here is so nice. So they're showing me these amazing Jacquemus pieces. I love the suede and the brown tone. So this is their original classic one. Love the size of this one. And then this one, so pretty with the shirling. Love this one. And then I think this is my favorite one over here. It also has a longer strap. It looks just really cool, unique. I love the color of this one and let me open it it just has a magnetic opening now even though it's a larger bag it doesn't fit a lot because it's quite narrow and then as you can see it's got little d-rings on each side so you can put on a strap but i think it just looks really cool handheld like that so these i would say are my three favorite ones currently at jack moose and then there's that little basket one over there. I love this canvas one here with this thicker strap. This one here is really cool. And then there's these guys. They also have that Shirling one in the blue, in the suede. This cute pink one. And again, this little basket bag over here. This one as well is very unique. It's that long shape. It's just like a very interesting, if I were to see someone wearing that, it just definitely stands out. I, I would never get it in this color. I don't like this bright pink, but this in a brown or just like maybe a deep green or a khaki, that would look so good with a thick shoulder strap and this little chain detail. Okay, these Prada headbands I love. I have the crystal one here and I'm gonna try this one. Okay, here it is on and oh my God, I love it so much. I love these Prada headbands just to begin with in general. And this crystal one is so much fun. It's definitely a lot. I think the ones I prefer are just the all black ones or all in like a beautiful powder blue or something, just a solid color. But this is definitely fun. And something with these big headbands, I feel like they're very flattering. But yeah, I love these. It's so sparkly. And then they also have here at Prada all of these amazing sparkly re-edition bags. 
got this one over here. Over here, they've got the Clio bag. I'm such a fan of the Clio bag. I just think it's such a beautiful piece. They have more Clios over here in all the different sizes. And that's about it for Prada. Yeah, I love these silly Fendi peekaboos. I got this little mini one. I love the thick stitching and the suede. It's beautiful. And then they have this one as well. Similar but different. You can see the edges are a little bit different versus this has the gorgeous stitching on it. This is in sneak skin. Check out this amazing Fendi coat. Their belts, which I'm really liking. This one is really nice over here. A lot of these little mini peekaboos as well as these Fendi first bags over here. And this pink one is so pretty. It's got the little ruffle detailing, a little change purse. And then over here are these little baguette bags in teal. So the little Fendi baguette sequin bags, they don't have out in stock right now. But I was hoping to see them. Unfortunately, they don't have any. Apparently they're sold out in Paris for right now. We're inside Balenciaga. They've got so many Cagole bags over here. This one with the crystals, this green one over here, I love the green, and then they have these adorable little, they have these adorable little mini hourglass bags. They have this one in the black and in the crystal over here. And as you guys can see, there's a whole wall of cut gold bags, there's their moto bag. Some small leather goods. This is a clutch on chain. It's got a little chain. You can see all the jewelry. I always love their moto bags and they've reinterpreted it. This one has the crystals on it, as does this one. This is their graffiti one. And then this over here, it's the Kugel, kind of like a little pochette. And then the white one also has the little crystals. Here's the little Balenciaga scarf. The smaller ones. And this one over here, it's a very deep green color with the gold hardware. This one's beautiful. I love this one. This one's a little interesting. It has this padded shoulder bag over there. As does this one. There's this denim one. And I think that's going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel.